Welcome in Assen in the Netherlands for the Gamma Racing Day. It's the fourth round of the Formula Renault 1.6 Championship. The championship in which the Belgian Federation, the RACB, is very interested for a future project. Yes, we're very happy that the RACB has showed interest in our championship by organizing a steering wheel competition. So they had a, an example in the Clear Cup, so they, they adapted this to our championship and that this what this championship was made for. And what the RACB will, how will they find the talent? Well, they organize a, a competition um, among uh, the Belgian young Belgian drivers and um, some eight or ten drivers will be able to test one of our cars. And the best one will uh, get a championship drive for, for next year. Two races at Assen, as usual, two races of 20 minutes. And in the first race, it was Florian Janitz crossing the line in fifth. After 12 laps of the 4.5 kilometer Dutch track. In fourth, it was Jan Esmeyer in third, the Austrian Ferdinand Habsburg. Another podium finish for the Austrian. Ralph Aaron, the Estonian, performing very well here for Scuderia Nordica. But the winner in the first race was again Anton de Pasquale, the Australian, really dominating this year's championship. And he takes another win from Aaron, Habsburg, Esmeyer and Janitz. A couple of new drivers in Assen, among them Otto Nico from Germany. In Renault 1.6, how is it going this year? Yeah, it's fine, uh, really fine. Uh, for me, it's the first race here in Assen because I was too young. And now we start the season yet, yet, and we have four races now to go. Zolda, here, uh, Spa and Zandvoort. Yeah, I hope we get some nice results. And the winner in the first race was Anton de Pasquale. Anton Pasquale, it looks like you're dominating the season this year, eh? Yeah, so far it's going quite well. It's, it's quite tough out there, you know. There's a, there's a new guy that I'm racing this, this weekend uh, who hasn't been up there the rest of the season. It's making it quite tough and it, it's keeping us on our toes, which is good. What is your goal for the future? Uh, the, our goal is to keep moving forward in the open wheel of ranks and hopefully in the in the Redo staircase. And um, a dream goal is F1, and as most people are, and, and that's my goal also. Ralph Aaron, who finished second in the first race, will try to beat the Australian in race number two, but he knows it won't be easy. 1.6 or no, what are you expecting? I'm expecting the second place, but I can, I'll, I'll do my best to get the win. Is it so difficult to beat the Pasquale? Uh, yeah, it's really difficult. He has the best pace, and uh, he's just so quick, and everyone tries to beat him, but no one... Like, it's really hard right now. And one of the teams in the Formula Renault 1.6 is Trekstar from Aki Janssen. Aki Janssen, you're in 1.6 Renault. What are the plans for the future? For the future, we'll be back in the 2 litres for next year, in um, 2015. We uh, hope we'll be two car, could even be three. But we're ordering one new car, so far we're going to start testing in September. Do you think that Renault classes are a good step up for going higher up for young drivers? Absolutely, it's excellent formula, the 1.6. If you come straight out from the go-kart, it's very good because it's more up to the driver than to engineer in the car. So a good learning curve. But after two years, I think you have to take next step up to 2.0 resources. Excellent class. A great meeting, the Gamma Racing Day. Over 80,000 spectators in the grandstands. And that is that pleases of course to the drivers, the teams and the organizers alike. Cara, who Cara how important is this event for you? Well, it's a very important event for us because uh, we have the Formula Renault 1.6 but also the uh, Formula Renault 2 litre which is the next step up and the Benelux Clio Cup so it's a great event uh, for, for all the Renault championships that we organize. And the audience, well, it's fantastic to have uh, between 60 and 80,000 spectators here on the grandstands. I think the drivers and the teams uh, like this a lot. Start of race number two then with, uh, of course, Anton de Pasquale on pole position with Ralph Aaron next to him. But the Australian has not such a good start there. And Ralph Aaron gets alongside the Estonian now menacing Anton de Pasquale. Will he get into the first corner first? 
He leaves the braking very late, Ralph Aaron, and he takes the lead. And Anton De Pasquale is pushed to the outside, so he might even be passed by his teammate Florian Janic. Yes, De Pasquale drops to third. This is by far the worst start of De Pasquale we have seen this season. But now it gives him the opportunity to show what he, he is made of to try and pass another driver. For most of the season, he was at the front of the race from the word go. Now he's in third. So Aaron from Janic, then De Pasquale. Behind him, it's the first of the Dutchman, Jano Esmeyer, who had a, a bit of a disappointing weekend. Here in front of his home crowd, three abreast towards the first corner, still Aaron leading. With uh, Janic being uh, threatened by De Pasquale, but Pasquale is pushed to the outside, and there's Esmeyer. Esmeyer in the white car, takes third position away from De Pasquale, who is back and forth now. What's happening with the Australian? Can he come back from this? It would be a massive race if he can take the win after being dropped to fourth only 20 minutes remember these races 12 laps of this 4.5 kilometer track and here's Ottonico the newcomer still fighting for a top 10 position which is not bad Ralph Aaron still leading from Florian Janis then Jano Esmeyer then the Pasquale with Florian Habsburg now in fifth right behind the Pasquale Pasquale has taken a place back. He's passed the Esmeyer, and Esmeyer is also being passed by Habsburg. So the Pasquale now back in third, but he has to close the gap towards Aaron and Janitz, who are a couple of seconds ahead. This is the nine car from Carl Aero passing through the pit lane. Aaron still leading from Janitz, and the Pasquale getting closer. Has edged away from Habsburg, but now has to close the gap towards Janic, and he's quicker. Every lap he takes away his fourth, five, six tenths of a second even on his Lechner Racing School teammate. And Janic has difficulties to keeping the contact with Ralph Aaron. And here's the Pasquale. He will have to pass Janic rather quickly if he wants to pass Ralph Aaron after that. The fight for fourth is hot as well between uh, Esmeyer, Habsburg and Defuni. Esmeyer now in third with Habsburg cutting the chicane. He will have to leave that place to the Belgian, to Dufourny. And contact there between Larry Tenvorde and Boris Kolf. Kolf even finds the time to take his arm out of the car. Nice driving there by Kolf. And the Pasquale is in second. He has passed Janitz. Some time left now to try and pass Aaron as well. Otto Nico, the captain racing driver has dropped a couple of places which is logical he lacks some experience in this 1.6 championship of course being only his first meeting the Pasquale fighting really hard attacking the chicane there right behind Ralph Aaron I think he has a couple of laps left and this is the fight for sixth for seventh between Walter Boer comes in the 16 and Marshall Lehner's while Larry Tomvorda brings back the car to retire Lehner sliding to the first corner being managed by Walter Boer comes of Provoli Racing at the front, Ralph Aaron resisting the attacks of uh, Anton de Pasquale, who is not right behind him yet. But there he is, but this is the last lap. It's the last time of through the chicane, and Ralph Aaron will beat Anton de Pasquale, win winning the second race of the Gamma Racing Day. Great win for the Estonian driver, with de Pasquale in second and Florian Janitz in third. A great race for the Formula 1.6. Very difficult race. Yeah, I, I made a mistake at the start and that cost me pretty much the whole race, but it was it was a good feeling coming from sort of behind, losing a few spots and coming back onto the tail and challenging for the lead. So overall, still a successful race and I'm happy as I still extend the championship lead and overall a successful weekend. So I'm really happy and congratulations to Boris. He had a very strong race and it was a tough competition all weekend, so it was great. And a great result for a young Estonian, Ralph Aaron. So you made it. Yeah, I made it. I'm really happy. That was the best race ever. Pressure was big at the end? Yeah, the pressure was really big. It was really quick, getting closer, and I had to defend a little bit. You were the only one to keep calm at the start? Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. So Aaron wins it from the Pasquale, then Janic, Jano Esmeyer in fourth, and Max the 40 in fifth. So champagne for the top three with the young Estonian being showered with champagne. And from the Pasquale now has a 50 point lead in the championship over Esmeyer and Ralph Aaron has climbed to third.
And that was the end of our report from the Gamma Racing Day. See you next time. Thank you.